Hi everyone and welcome to the Dice Tower. My name is Chris and today I'm going to be looking at a children's game. It's actually a simplified version of an extant children's game. This is called Rhino Hero Jr. This is a version that is made for ages 2 plus. There's not always a ton of games for that, so let me show you why this game works for that young of an age and I'll give you my thoughts. In the first play mode of Rhino Hero Jr., you're not actually going to use the stacking parts of it, nor are you going to use the uh, spider monkey tiles. All you do is you start off with your green board here, and you're going to try to build up it by matching colors. This is the simplest of the versions. So the kid simply takes a tile and matches green to green, and then our uh, little critters will continue along that path. Then you're going to try to connect to the new color. So you know, just it's color matching. You can also use this to kind of teach the numbers and the counting and everything. So it goes from one to two to three, and you just progress the heroes along that way. And that's that's the first mode. You just go up through six. Now the second mode of the game, you play on the building side. Woo woo! And so you will have the, you know, you or your child or whoever will take the first floor of the building and put it out here, and want to move up Rhino Hero. You'll stack this up and then you'll place the Rhino Hero Jr. on there. You'll notice that we're not using the Spider Monkey or the Monkey Tiles, this version either. And then you'll go on to the next floor, floor number two. You'll stack that one up, place a roof tile atop it, and then place Rhino Hero up. In this version, you're just trying to make all the stories of the building without accidentally knocking it over, which, you know, can happen. And then the last version of the game, you'll actually lay out a grid of these tiles with the monkey, the spider monkey tiles. You'll lay out a 4x2 grid of them and flip them over. What you're trying to do is you're trying to find in this grid the order of the tiles going from the first floor up to the sixth. So if I flip this one over, that's floor three, that's not going to work for me. So the next person goes and takes a turn. They'll flip one over. Oh no, the spider monkey tile is revealed. Spider Monkey would climb up the tower trying to knock it over, but thankfully we don't have any floors yet. So eventually we'll go, hey, we found floor number one. So one gets added out, and then we can put the roof tile atop it, and Rhino Hero Jr. is going to move up. As you go on, you're trying to find floor number two. Hey, that's pretty slick. If any, at any time you reveal, oh, and you move Rhino Hero Jr. up, if at any time you reveal the Spider Monkey, Spider Monkey is going to climb up the tower, and depending on how softly or gently you put them up there, you might accidentally knock it over. If you're able to build all six stories without knocking over the tower, you win the game. So there you go. This is a bright, colorful, and happy game. So it has those three game modes, but also there's you know free play that you can have simply by just having you play with these tiles, having them assemble them, having you help set up the game, because you do have to take these apart for each game to fit them back into the box. But that, that's not a bad thing, because for young kids, learning how to kind of line these up is not a bad skill. And in fact, I think kids may struggle with that at first, right? But this is not a bad thing to, uh, to help with that, um, the hand-eye coordination and everything. Bright, colorful pieces. I really like the art on here. <laughs> the one thing, uh, I'm, I'm really good at putting these together because I'm a grown-up. The one thing that I did struggle with was I was looking for the number one tile to match the number one, and this one had two birds on it. <laughs> I realized, well, that's because it bisects when you put this together, and therefore you only see one bird at a time. Uh, apparently I'm not actually that smart. But I like this. You, you go from you know one up to six, uh, and so the six is smaller, and so you create in the second game mode, right, where you go from first floor to second to sixth, it creates a nice little tower effect. It looks nice. It's harder to knock over. But if you, uh, you know, and there's, there's another way that you could play where you can just kind of make the tower janky however you want. You could choose to, you know, flip over tiles and do the fourth floor first, and then the first, and then the sixth, and then the second. Or, you know, there's a lot of kind of exploration that you can do with just these little pieces. The original Rhino Hero is cards that are kind of folded, and that's a lot easier to knock over. You can knock it over with you know, maybe a, a little bit of a breath. Oh, okay, <laughs> this is cardboard. This is actually really thick cardboard, so it's harder to knock over, and that's good because you want the game to be a little bit of a challenge for a kid who's, you know, two, three, like a toddler age, 
but you don't want it to just fall over constantly if they breathe too hard around or if they sigh around it. So at first I thought, oh, that's kind of weird, right? This thing could possibly never fall over, but it's at the target range of the of the the audience you're looking for. What I like about this package is that if you're looking for a game for kids this young, it gives you those different game modes. The simplest one, that first one where you put out a tile and you match the colors, many people would say, oh, that's not a game, right? But it teaches game principles, like you could use this to teach taking turns, or you could use it to teach that there's a, a structured rule set that you follow when you play with a game out of a box. That's a principle that two-year-olds need to learn. They're not ready to sit down and play, you know, quote-unquote, kids' games, because a lot of those kids' games that are meant for even just a year older than that rely on knowing those basic principles. So this is not a bad-looking package if you are hoping for literally a first game to play with a kid. I remember my first game out of uh, that, you know, we tried was actually another Hava game out of this big yellow box series, and it was my first Animal Upon Animal that had very large uh, animal wooden pieces you stacked on each other, but it didn't work for our kid because it said ages 2 plus in the box, but that relied on a lot of dexterity to stack them. This is a lot simpler. I would recommend this one, definitely, if you're looking for something that age. And you know what? It's not, it's not going to entertain you as the adult, but it's going to be like a, a teacher. It's like a primer that you can use to get into more games. And then, you know what? Honestly, stacking up that tower is not too bad either, and, it, and it's fun. So, uh, and plus, it'll have a nice little transition when your kid is older into playing a, a regular version of Rhino Hero or Super Rhino Hero. or the, It's a whole big family of games, and this is not a bad starter one. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one a kid's seven. I think this is neat, that it's, it's fun and colorful, and it does its job for very young kids, which is a hard target audience, I think. And so, there you go. That's my thoughts. Hope that you enjoyed that and found that informative. That's Rhino Hero Jr. My name is Chris, and thanks for watching The Dice Tower.